Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm going to be doing the D tags. Dane reads. So this was created by Jim's book, Reading and Stuff. He tagged me, because I'm Dane Reads, and uh, we're going to go ahead and get started. So there are a bunch of prompts and then some tagging at the end. So, D is for Dahl. What is your favourite book by Roald Dahl? Mine would be uh, George's Marvelous Medicine. Uh, I used to love that as a kid. I've read it dozens of times. I even tried to make my own Marvelous Medicine. In fact, there was a time when um, I basically was just mixing all the random crap I could find together. A bunch of stuff from the kitchen, like the cleaning products beauty products from the bathroom and stuff and I learned that if I made this concoction I don't know what was in it but when you sprayed it with deodorant it set fire to it even though it was just a liquid it was very odd didn't drink it obviously D is for Doctor Who what is your favorite book about time travel or who is your favorite Doctor Who I think mine is Christopher Eccleston my favorite doctor would be David Tennant but I just think he's a great actor in general not just in Doctor Who and everything I've seen him in has been great favorite book about time travel one that does come to mind is 112263 by Stephen King. Uh, do check that out, it's fantastic. D is for dark. What is the darkest book you have read? I mean, I read a lot of dark stuff. Um, I'm trying to think what comes to mind. I read a little bit of Mein Kampf by Adolf Hitler, but it was actually just boring as opposed to dark. Um, maybe Meat by Dane Cobain. That's pretty dark, so I hear. It's the darkest book I've written, so we'll go with that. D is for Dickens. How many Dickens novels have you read? There were 15, including The Mystery of Edwin Drood. So I think I've only read three. I've read David Copperfield, Oliver Twist, and uh, A Christmas Carol. And I have one or two others uh, that I own. Uh, I eventually want to read all of his stuff as well. D is for Dictionary. In these, the internet years, do you still use physical paper dictionaries? I mean, I have one, but I don't use it. But then I don't often need to use dictionaries anyway. I use the sources more often and things like Google Translate for French. Um, I have read the Oxford English Dictionary. I read all of the definitions here from cover to cover. Hey, Big. Yes. And I'm actually currently working on a book called The Lexicologist Handbook, aren't I, Biggie? Which is a dictionary of obscure words. Uh, ow. And that's, what, that's why I read the dictionary, to find some obscure words I could add into it. He's about to attack my leg. I'm a bit scared. Uh, the Lexicologist Handbook should be out this year, actually. It's just currently going through uh, beta reading slash proofreading, and I'm working on the cover as well. D is for Dagger and Detective. What was the last detective novel you read? I think it was, uh, it was True Crime, but it was uh, The Suspicions of Mr. Witcher by Kate Summerscale. I'm very good it was too. D is for Dostoevsky. What is your favourite Dostoevsky novel? I've never read any Dostoevsky novels. He did, he wrote a short story that was in the Penguin, it was in these. Right, I can't see the, the meek ones. Uh, I read the little penguin mini black classic called The Meek Ones, which had some of Dostoevsky's uh, short fiction in it, so it'd have to be that. D is for diversity. Which book from your reading ticked the most diversity boxes? Well, I mean, I've read like literally thousands, so I, I don't know. There's probably some own voices one somewhere. Um, I don't know, maybe Hans Hershey. He's an indie writer who writes about LGBTQIA stuff. Uh, maybe that, I don't know. D is for drawing. Who is your favorite visual artist? Probably Dan Wilson of Decreate here in High Wycombe, he's great. Uh, there's a lot of really talented local artists. Just seeing if any of their art's lying around. Um, maybe Calculator as well, I don't know. Yeah, loads of really great artists in Wycombe. And who do I tag? So I am going to tag Todd the Librarian, even though he's AWOL at the moment, but hopefully coming back soon. So we'll have loads of tags to catch up on. Cats and Camera, uh, we will tag... I'll tag Steve, Steve Partridge. I will tag Linda Jo Martin, the book lady. I will tag uh, Jeremy Fee. And who else? Jason's Weird Reads. Two more. Harpies in the Trees if she's watching. And um, Regina from Regina's Bookish Library. So there we have it. That's what I made of the D tag, short and sweet. As always, don't forget to let me know in the comments what you thought of this tag. Let me know what your answers would have been. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button for more. And I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.